we're going vegan grocery shopping. In this video, you're gonna learn about all the vegan and plant-based options that are available in the grocery store. I've been vegan since 2014, so I've been doing this for years now, and the most commonly asked question that I get from my friends, what's vegan? Like, what do I get? How do I start? And I just thought it would be easy and very helpful if I made this video for you guys who might be thinking about going plant-based and don't know where to start. Starting my vegan journey, I had no clue about what to eat. I know that I wasn't gonna eat meat anymore, but I didn't know what my other options to replace that with would be. So I'm gonna take you through the grocery store with me. We're gonna look at the produce section. We're gonna look at different options for meat substitutes. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna be showing you what's in the grocery store, what I would get. Say there's squash and you wanna try a squash recipe, you can go on Pinterest and you can, let's say that I showed like a squash and you wanna learn about squash, the benefits of squash. Um, you can go to squash recipes, right? And then you're gonna see so many, so many, so many, so many different options of vegan, plant-based meals that you can make. If you're like me, you'll probably search easy, easy vegan recipes because I, I don't like to take too long in the kitchen. Um, but that's just one way for you to find out new vegan plant-based recipes to try out. You can also go on Instagram. If you'd like to be friends on Instagram, make sure to follow me. I have a yoga page as well if you're into yoga. So what you wanna do when you go on Instagram is go to the search. You're gonna type in vegan recipes. And you're gonna see a different pages pop up. And there you go, there you have it. Lots of lots and lots of different vegan recipes and that's how you can do it um let's say you want to look for a certain like easy vegan salad and then there you go you're going to see lots of different options people usually put what their ingredients are in their captions and you can do it that way but this is just gonna be a general overview. I'm literally gonna take you through each and every aisle in the grocery store. There's so many benefits to a plant-based diet. It's so good for you health-wise. Being vegan and plant-based, the biggest thing that I've noticed about myself is that I'm more conscious and aware of what I put into my body. Whereas before I would just eat everything. I wasn't really looking at ingredients and stuff like that. So if you're looking to make that change, I totally support it. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's start off in the produce section where all the delicious and nutritious fruit and vegetables are. thinking of going plant-based or vegan you definitely want to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables so we have grapes strawberries blueberries raspberries these are rich in antioxidants and they make a great quick and easy snack now let's look at salads so you can make your own salad. You want to make sure that you're eating lots of dark leafy greens. There's arugula, there's kale, there's spring mixes. You can just chop some veggies up, some cucumbers and tomatoes and just throw it in there. Now let's talk salad dressing. And you can make your own salad dressing at home, your own vinaigrette, or you can pick one up from the supermarket. There's lots of vegan friendly options. You just wanna make sure that you're always reading the ingredients list to see if there's any milk or eggs or dairy in there. That's usually what I look out for. But depending on what you're trying to avoid in your diet, you always want to read the ingredients. That's a major key. 
Now we're looking at some fruits. I love to put bananas and everything on top of my oatmeal in a sandwich on top of pancakes anything now we're looking at more leafy greens scallion um, more lettuce carrots beets those are great to put in juices very very good for you I also love watercress now we have some chopped up carrots, some chopped up cabbage, and they have noodle versions, healthier noodles that are made from plants. Um, see, we have some red beet noodles. If you want to stay away from pasta and you want to try a healthier alternative, there's Brussels sprouts. And put those in the oven, bake them with some maple syrup, can turn out really tasty. But yeah, I really just have to go and look around and get creative. There's lots of recipes on Pinterest, on Instagram, you can use a hashtag, search easy vegan recipes, you can always look on YouTube. There's lots of recipes on the internet. Cauliflower is one of my favorites. You can make it so many different kinds of ways. I love fried cauliflower. Broccoli is really, really good. It has a lot of protein in it. We have zucchini and yellow squash, which are very nutritious, high in fiber. We have more baby carrots. You can dip that in hummus or whatever you'd like. There's also cantaloupe, which is a nice juicy fruit, and pears, which are also very high in fiber, and have a lot of nutrients in them. Apples and plums, I love plums. A whole assortment of delicious fruits that are really good for you and really tasty. It's just about getting your palate adjusted to eating more cleaner foods and nutrient-dense foods that are really, really good for you. There are so many different types of squashes. There's acorn squash, butternut squash. There's so many different types of squash. Potatoes, I love these little red potatoes. I cut them up and put them in my oven, season them, they're so good. We have sweet potatoes, which are so good. They help to regulate your blood sugar. They're high in fiber and vitamin D. And there's many different types of onions that are also very good for you. Garlic has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties. I like to cook with lots of onion and garlic. I feel like it makes my food very flavorful and it's also very nutritional. Now we all know about ginger. If you don't know, now you know that you really need some ginger, especially during cold and flu season can make some ginger shots, throw a couple of these in a juicer, or you can blend it. Oranges, also very good for the immune system, help your body to absorb iron so that you can make new blood cells. Super good, easy snack to just, you know, take with you wherever you're going. Limes are alkaline and help to detoxify the body. Kale, I love to put kale in my smoothies. Lots of iron, lots of nutrients. The beets are also good. You can put them in a salad or you can also juice them. Green beans, you can always saute those in some oil, some seasonings, whatever you'd like. And 
and mushrooms there are so many different kinds of mushrooms mushrooms have so many benefits for the immune system for the nervous system so we can do your own research I encourage you and try the different types of mushrooms out and see which one works for you for me personally my current favorite is the oyster mushroom there's so many ways you can make it but I like to make fried oyster mushroom it looks like fried chicken it's really it's really good and it has a lot of health benefits there's so many different types of tofus firm extra firm soft you can use those can blend the soft tofu to make like a cheesy sauce with pasta there's so many different ways to use these vegan friendly alternatives so you can see we have veggie burgers these look like a pretty healthy organic brand um, you can always make sure to look at the ingredients see if you like them if you're going to be more organic there's a lot of organic options out there these are vegan sausages so it's like an alternative to hot dog meat you can dice these up put it mix it with some rice there's so many different ways you can do it you can mix it with some pasta like you can see, you can see in the pictures there's um tofu ground there's vegan bacon there's so many different alternatives to meat um, if you're wanting to cut back on how much meat you eat there's also tempeh which is more of a wheat based alternative now there's some jackfruit which is actually from a fruit which is really cool now i'm looking at the kombuchas this is my favorite i love kombucha like it's so good for you it's filled with probiotics and it's really good for your gut health so check it out maybe it'll be something that you're into this is my favorite brand synergy I like them because they have nice little quotes on them and they don't have caffeine for the most part so now I'm looking at the nuts there's plantain chips there's almonds which are great for your brain Fiji water Essentia water these are like more alkaline waters spring waters there are different type of vegetables, root vegetables, yams, high in starch. Kiwi is a great snack. Mangoes are great for breakfast, lunch, always good any time of the day. Plantains, I like to dice them up and put them in the air fryer. Now I'm looking at the juices. There's a lot of healthy looking juices out there, but make sure to read the ingredients because sometimes these juices have a lot of sugar. And yeah, just make sure that even though it looks good on the outside, you wanna make sure, read the ingredients, make sure that you're all good. Like these juices look much healthier. They look fresh, straight to the point, orange and mango, two ingredients. Yes, these are your better options. Pomegranate juice. See, these are simple juices. Immunity shots, ginger shots are really good for you. Watermelons are so delicious. You can get them already diced up. There's all different types of pre-made, pre-cut fruits that you can just grab and go pack with you for a healthy lunch or a healthy breakfast I love blueberries filled with antioxidants so much nutrients very good for you there are also all different types of grapes there's green grapes red grapes now I'm looking at breads there's so many different types of breads as well for the most part you're gonna see if they have eggs and milk like eat that but there's so many different types of breads just want to make sure you always 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 read the ingredients and make sure there's no dairy like this one this one should be good this one has no dairy
So now we're looking at wraps. There's so many different types of wraps. There's whole wheat wraps, there's spinach wraps, there's organic, whole grain, different types of wraps. I like to make veggie wraps and put different vegetables, different protein, whether it be beans or like a vegan meat substitute. There's also so many different types of hummus, which is basically chickpea. So delicious, so many different flavors of hummus. There's garlic hummus is one of my favorites. But yeah, you can explore the world of hummus and see which one you like. Try it out. There's also guacamole. I know we all love chips and guac. You don't have to eat it with chips. You can also put it in your wrap or something like that. Salsa. Grapeseed oil. There's different vegetable oils you might want to cook with. Those should be good to go. And now I'm looking at the granola. So you can make a granola smoothie bowl. There's all different kinds of granola. This one is French vanilla almond granola. Also want to make sure your granola does not have any dairy in it. This is forbidden rice. I love it. So good. So black rice. So delicious. But there's so many different types of seeds, chia seeds so good for you. you can put that in your smoothie or in your smoothie bowl pumpkin seeds are very very good for you as well you know, of course if you don't have any allergies you can definitely explore all different types of seeds pistachios wasabi peas tri-color quinoa, white quinoa, organic quinoa. There's so many different grains. Jasmine rice. I like to eat rice and beans. You know, I'm Afro-Latina. Rice and beans every day, honestly, gets the job done. Garbanzo beans. And raw almonds. Almonds are a good snack. They're really good for you just to munch on. You only need a handful of nuts a day, by the way. Um, definitely look into how much you should be having. These are dates. I used to love to put dates in my smoothie to naturally sweeten them. They're also very good for you. Very um, delicious natural sweetener. There's kidney beans, lentil beans, pinto beans. You can also make like bean soup for different stews. Couscous, I love couscous. It's like an alternative to rice for me. It's like a light, lighter weight. I feel like it's, I like it much better. But you can try out different grains. There's barley, mullet, even more granola. <laughs> There's so many different types out there. Now I'm looking at different teas. Rebos tea, chai tea, earl grey tea, peppermint, all different kinds. They also have rose hip, ginger, you can boil that in some water, steep it and make yourself some delicious herbal tea or there's a plethora of box teas that are organic as well. Did you know that Oreos are vegan? Well, now you know. Oreos are vegan. Now we're looking at oats. You can make oatmeal for breakfast. Put some bananas and some berries on top. You can flavor it with cinnamon. So delicious, so good for you. So tasty. Um, so there's so many different types of oats. I like to use steel cut oats, but you can try different ones out, see what works for you. These are the different alternatives to regular flour. There's amaranth flour. I also like to use garbanzo flour, or chickpea flour. Now this is all the different spices you can use. Those should be golden or safe to use because they're just herbs. There's a vegan egg if you like to bake. This is an alternative. 
And now we're looking at vegan chocolate chips. If you like to bake sweets, you can use vegan chocolate chips that don't have any milk inside. Now these are more snacks, different crackers that are plant-based. I like these cookies a lot. Chocolate chip cookies by Back to Nature are so good. I also like their version of Oreos a little better. Doesn't really upset my stomach as much. Yeah, these are the ones. Double cream cookies, so good. Now we're looking at the different types of jams. This is my favorite go-to brand. I like to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So good, tasty. Um, there's almond butter, which is much healthier than peanut butter. But you can do your own research, do what you like. It's also cashew butter, different types of butters, tahini. Now we're looking at applesauce, which is also a great snack. Macadamia milk, coconut milk, almond milk is also like my go-to for making smoothies, blending up my fruit and veggies. There's hemp milk, which hemp is filled with protein. So yeah, I definitely recommend plant-based milk over dairy milk any day. So there's also instant oatmeal, you can just, you know, pour some hot water and that's it. Making it even easier for you to have a healthy, delicious breakfast. So many different flavors, there's different cereals. Maple Pecan Crunch cereal, you can see it's vegan. Now I'm looking at the different tomato sauces or marinara sauce if you like to make pasta. I just use tomato sauce instead of Alfredo sauce. And there's so many different types of noodles. Like I said, you can go on Pinterest and look up different recipes or online. So many different types of beans which have lots of protein, more rice. These are vegan pre-made mac and cheese. I've tried the mac and cheese and bacon one, this one, and it's pretty tasty. Also vegetable broth for cooking, different recipes. You always wanna make sure they don't have dairy in it. Even though it says vegetable broth, they still have dairy in there sometimes. So you always want to read the back. Don't get got, y'all. I'm just trying to help you out because in my journey, this was the hardest part. Reading the ingredients because there's so many times that I'll buy something because it looks vegan. I'll go home and I might eat some or I'll look at the back and it'll say something with dairy on it and I'll be so frustrated. So that's just a major tip for you guys. So now I'm looking at the different snacks, pretzels. This is like the healthy snack section. <laughs> Beanitos, which is like nachos, I guess, made from beans. Enjoy Life is a good brand that makes a lot of vegan friendly sweets as well. Quinoa cookies. We have some lemon shortbread cookies. Yeah, most grocery stores or some grocery stores have like a healthy snack aisle. So if you're trying to, I guess, stray away from eating a lot of junk, you can transition by looking at healthier snack options in, in the healthy food aisles. You can see there's even chocolate bars that are vegan. 
made from rice milk, chocolate cake mix. See, you're not really missing out on this by going vegan because there's so many alternatives. Vegan fudge brownie mix. Now you don't want to eat these things all the time. Non-dairy muffin mix, but it's just very good that we have the option, you know? These are almond flour chocolate muffin mix. Looks so delicious, made from almonds and coconut. These are a healthier alternative to like Cheez-Its, almond version, gluten-free hamburger bun. Hearts of Palm is really delicious as well. Ketchup is definitely vegan. Now we're looking in the freezers at the frozen fruit and veggies. I like to buy mixed fruit to make my smoothies so much more easier. And there's also sweet potato fries, oven fries, if you like french fries. Um, these are already made. These are vegan. Um, meat alternatives so Gardein is a very popular vegan meat brand they make all these different like vegan burgers vegan breakfast sausage vegan chicken wings everything you name it Gardein most likely has a vegan version they have like chicken patties oh yeah their fish patty is really good they have vegan cheesecake by Daya brand Daya brand also makes vegan pizzas they have a meat lovers they have mushroom they have so many different kinds so if you're vegan and you haven't had a pizza in a while definitely check them out they also have vegan pot stickers which are so delicious vegan waffles i like these chocolate chip and i like pumpkin spice there's even vegan whip to put on top of your vegan ice cream if you like whipped cream. The brand So Delicious makes so many different flavors of vegan ice cream that are so delicious. There's oat milk if you don't like almonds. A lot of people are raving over oat milk right now. It's the new thing. They even make those little, um, these little fudge bars so delicious coconut bliss i love these oatly if you know the brand that makes the milk they also make ice cream so you might want to check them out as well as ben and jerry's they have so many vegan friendly options just look out for the non-dairy sticker on them now i'm looking at the tortilla chips you can make vegan nachos so if you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the tribe, and you'll be notified whenever I post any similar videos. And until next time.